Alright, hey guys and welcome back to another Battlefront 2 tips and tricks video and today I'm going to be going over something pretty different. It's going to help a lot of you guys out I think and with the new changes to Boba Fett we are going to be looking at some advanced movement tips when you're playing Boba Fett so that you can really survive a long time in Heroes vs Villains and get some good gameplay without having to be that runner. So this is going to help you play Boba Fett aggressively and it's pretty much just going to give you movement tips to help your survivability and not just get slaughtered by the swing spammers. So these are all going to be tips that are really going to help you guys out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started. If there's footage that I need to overlay to kind of give you guys a better understanding of what I'm talking about, I will definitely put that in there. You'll see some split screen stuff, but you'll also see some gameplay from me this morning, which is going to feature pretty much all of the tips I'm going to talk about. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you pay attention to the gameplay in the background because that is all going to be used in there as well. And if I do insert some other clips here and there, then they will definitely help you too. Anyways, I'm going to get straight into it. The first one with the new movement tips to Boba Fett is the mid-air dodge. So the thing a lot of people haven't quite realized just yet with Boba Fett is the mid-air dodge, it doesn't just go left to right. You can go forwards and backwards as well. So what this does is a little bit of an escape mechanism is kind of how I use it. So if I'm flying away and someone's trying to shoot me, um, I'll kind of dash left or right to use it in, you know, that kind of sense to avoid enemy fire. I've had like Han and Lando and even Finn try and line me up and, you know, you can fly away to try and get away from their shots and give it a little bit of distance, but you can also dash left to right to kind of throw them off. The other thing is if you're flying towards a hero at a low level, so you're closer to the ground and you're kind of hovering towards them, you can actually dash forwards and go through them and you can also dash backwards. So there's another tip I'll talk about in a minute, which is pretty much just flying straight backwards in a straight line. I'll explain it. I know it sounds super simple, but it does have a little bit more to it in just a second. But something like using this next tip in a minute will be able to help you when you're dashing backwards as well. So that's the first tip is the midair dodge. Make sure you guys know that you can go forwards and backwards as well as left to right. The second tip is going to be the pull recovery dash. Now, something that Boba has had now added to him since this last update is his ability to recover when knocked out of the air. There's no more like super ragdoll effect. Like obviously you're still going to get pulled or pushed or anything like that. And I'm actually going to insert a clip here of me going against Anakin in like an arcade mode in a split screen. And you'll see like instead of just being pulled towards Anakin and landing on the ground, which is when you pretty much touch nothing, you can kind of control it to have yourself land early and kind of dash out of it early, which is really cool. Instead of landing at Anakin's feet, you can either land in front of him on your feet and dash through him, or instead of landing on your back, you can kind of control it early and dash out of it earlier than you expected. I've had moments where Anakin's pulled me out of mid-air and I've recovered before I'm even anywhere near him and anywhere he can strike. So I've recovered actually mid-air from one of these attacks from Anakin from his force pull. So I think it's really cool what they've done with Boba. It's definitely made him much more viable in Heroes vs. Villains and being able to recover in mid-air is definitely one of them. So make sure you play around with Boba. I'm pretty sure it's a combination of L2 and even the dash button to regain your, your feet on the ground. So it's just kind of playing around with it, getting used to it. I can do it most of the time, but not always, but it's definitely something you want to be practiced at and make sure you're using. The next thing is going to be the dash through. This is what I call the dash through. So basically when you're going up against the lightsaber hero, usually they're closing in on you and they're just going to swing spam. If they know you're playing Boba and you're just standing on the ground and you're not flying around, they're going to run towards you as hard as they can and they're just going to swing spam the crap out of it. The cool thing about Boba is his dash with his jetpack on the ground when he's on his feet. You can dash through the lightsaber enemy and then quickly turn around and shoot them in the back of their head. This is super effective. I do this all the time. Even just to avoid lightsaber swings, sometimes you can dash through an enemy before they get their swing off. If you time it right, they're not going to hit you. It works similar to how the infantry roll works or how the blaster hero roll works. So this is the same kind of thing. You want to use Boba's jetpack in that instance as well to kind of dash yourself through these lightsaber heroes to stop the swing spammers just getting easy kills. Now the next tip I want to talk about is similar to the last one that I actually mentioned and this is the side front or the side back dash. Now what these are, these are a combination of using Boba's two dashes when you're on your feet, not in the air. So again, similar situation, you've got a lightsaber user closing in on you. If you dash to the side and then dash forward, again that's going to get you around to the side of the enemy where you can hit them in the head with your blaster and it's going to kind of throw off their ability to hit you with their lightsaber as well. So this is another simple movement trick that you guys can use to kind of survive a little bit longer and not have to worry too much about those pesky lightsaber users that 90% of the time are just swing spamming. And if you get really good at doing this, you can play super aggressive. You can jump right in on lightsaber battles. You know, you can go after lightsaber heroes really hard and attack them. And this is going to be something you can use in the future. Now, the next tip I'm going to talk about is the dash back or fly back. Now, this is two tips that I can give you that work really well in heroes versus villains. This is another one that's 
it's kind of aimed more when you're going up against a lightsaber hero. Again, these swing spammers, they don't like to dodge, they don't like to block and things like that. So if you watch, I'm going to try and insert a clip of me versus Anakin here in Heroes vs. Villains. And he kind of just keeps running towards me front on. It's a little bit silly. He just lets me shoot him and then he keeps trying to close the gap. He should have gone a different way about it. But every time he tried to pull me towards him, I would use the pull recovery tip that we just spoke about. So he couldn't get me close enough to hit me with his lightsaber. Then I would use the back dash or fly back. And this would help me avoid him closing the gap and taking me out with his lightsaber. So essentially the dash back is just what it sounds like. You're dashing backwards and you're shooting them while you're at it. So that way they can't close the distance and you're still getting damage while they're running towards you. And the other one is just the flyback. This is exactly the same thing, except you're using your L2 with the jetpack and you're kind of hovering straight backwards in a straight line. This keeps you kind of balanced so you can still shoot at Anakin. And again, make sure you guys are aiming for the head because that's really going to wipe them out really quickly. And this is something you want to be doing whenever you have a swing spammer chasing you in a straight line. The last tip I'm going to give you for movement accuracy, and I see this is one of the biggest mistakes Boba Fett players make. It's using his rocket barrage when you're in midair. Now, this is something that can be quite tricky to control. And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize Boba's rocket barrage is ridiculously powerful. And yes, I'm sure you all know that. But the thing is, the spread on it can become quite all over the place when you're moving. So the tip I'm giving you guys is to hover in midair when you're using the rocket barrage. So what I mean by hover is essentially you're going to tap L2 to keep yourself hovered up in the air. Once you're up there, it's pretty much just staying balanced and keeping your aim straight and then shooting down on the enemies. I see too many players trying to move side to side and shoot this rocket barrage, which ends up making it go all over the place. If you can control the hover in midair and keep yourself steady while firing this rocket barrage, the spread is going to be a lot less and you're going to be pretty much staying on target, which ends up in wiping out a lot of enemy heroes. So that's a big tip. You can use this with his blaster as well, hovering in midair to basically take aim at enemies. That way it's harder for them to hit you and also you can get good aim without them being in striking distance. So another really good tip there. So guys, those are pretty much all the tips I have for movement on Boba. These are some really good tips that are completely underrated and overlooked. I think a lot of Boba players don't use these tips or people that struggle with Boba don't even know about these kind of things. And with this new system that they've implemented with Boba's jetpack and being able to recover in midair, there are multiple times where you can survive a lot better than you used to be able to. So a lot of occasions where you probably should die, but you won't now thanks to this. And especially, I think the biggest one is being able to counter Anakin's pull dominance and being knocked out of the air by Chewie. There was a game I played yesterday or the day before, and I was going up against a Chewie on Bespin, and he was smashing me out of the air every two seconds. And every time I recovered, he'd hit me again and I'd drop down. And it was essentially just a big cycle. And he was getting super frustrated, I could tell, because he kept trying to shoot me out of midair and I kept popping straight back up. So it's really fun to counter those kind of players that just want to do that. So really cool. I love what they've done with Boba. I think the health buff was perfect, putting him up to 600. And I think his jetpack abilities are great. And the way you can use it now is just perfect for him. And that's how he should have been all the time. So I'm glad he's finally there. Anyways, I hope this tips and tricks video helps you guys smash a big thumbs up if it did, or if you learned something new out of it, or if you just appreciated the gameplay in the background, that would definitely help as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, because there will be more Battlefront 2 videos coming in the future. And I will see you guys all later on on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you always.